Right guys, back for another Dokkan battle video. And today, uh, we'll be taking on the ultimate red zone. This is the second stage of the GT edition against, uh, I don't know if it's pronounced Lud or Lude. Uh, we're just going to call it Baby Guy. So there are two phases to this one. Uh, there's a physical phase, which is this primary phase. And then there is also a second phase, which is against Extreme STR. So the team that I decided to use for this one, and again, I tried to make sure that I use different teams for each of these phases, uh, is Savior slash Hybrid Saiyans. In fact, I am recording uh, this post-commentary part on the 8th of, of uh, February. I did actually complete all of these uh, Ultimate Red Zone events, all these stages within the first week. I just didn't have time to uh, edit and render them out. And of course, this one specifically, um, I did not have time uh, to... Uh, to, to provide the post commentary because right? again I uh, I I think I died on my initial three runs against this stage and then I hopped back in the next day without commentary I think while I was literally just about to go to bed or before I went to sleep and I completed the stage so team build is very simple and I suppose I am fast forwarding it because I don't want to be talking uh, for all of the video it is a 12 minute length video or 12 minute run uh, in total but rotations were supposed to be take ultimate Gohan and then B pan on one rotation and then I was going to go the future Gohan and then the future Trunks on one rotation but I kind of changed it up I kept the original rotation the same but I did break off the two future units um, for me it's like um, future Gohan I kind of wanted him to build up I needed time for him to build up uh, and so I think originally again I don't know if I'm fast forwarding this but from what I'm seeing uh, on my screen right now uh, I have PyCon in slot one next to future Gohan and my idea was that hopefully he would dodge. Uh, you know, this guy can't be sealed and he can't be stunned uh, and his attack can't be lowered as well. I think that goes for all of them. So uh, in terms of him debuffing or applying his debuffs, that's not going to work. So I, what I wanted to do was try and max out Future Gohan's defensive uh, part of his passive. Remember guys, uh, if we just pull up Future Gohan here, he starts off post EZA with a base damage reduction. He has... Um, 30% base damage reduction and then for each turn that he appears um, or for every turn he gets an additional 7% so I wanted to try and build that up as close as possible to max get him up to 50% damage reduction by the time we get uh, or we, I say we get but we face off against the second phase because that second phase does it incredibly hard um, and again this rotation is fairly simple just have tech on go on stacking in the first slot uh, and then we have B-Pan in, in, in slot 2. I would say that you wanna, if you want to use a build like this, B-Pan is really good. If you can try and fit her on the team for this run uh, specifically, go ahead. Because B-Pan, uh, of course, will heal any damage that you take. I mean, she does heal quite a lot, right? Because we're doing, like, casually 300k, 400k damage. Uh, let me just double check her percentages. But I believe she heals, I think it's 33% of the damage that uh, she deals. Let me just uh, double check that real quick. Uh, here is B Pan. So, yeah, high chance of 3 key, high chance of additional 3 key recovers 33% of damage dealt as HP. So, that was what the plan was. In terms of PyCon, why I brought him along again uh, was honestly ma mainly just for his uh, turn 4 Ghost Usher. Uh, I wasn't trying to go for an item run, although, coincidentally, all four of these runs that I've completed thus far have been no item. And, you know, as of today, uh, February the 8th, the EZAs, the four EZAs, the God Goku, God Vegeta, Dokkan Fest. Um, Dokkan Fest Omega and Dokkan Fest SS4 Gogeta, they're easy, easy as have been announced, as well as the part 2 free to play Dokkan Awakenings, as well as the stages 3 and 4 of the Ultimate Red Zone event. So I did actually pop uh, PyCon's active here. Again, my I, my intention was to save it for the later round. I said the later round, but the second phase. But I thought we'd just go ahead and pop it now because there are too many attacks. And again, this is where, like, this isn't the best team build. You can definitely make a better team builds out there because, of course, there's a lot of. Uh, no, there's not a lot of like harmony going on in terms of like key and synergy uh, you know of course uh, physical future Gohan is like a pre prepare for battle unit and then a PyCon who I believe is shocking speed tech ultimate Gohan himself is like same lineage which is why like this first rotation works okay because um, B-Pan and ultimate Gohan at the very least they share two links the same lineage and all in the family so that can help um, and you can see uh, I got lucky with the key spheres and that's why we were able to get a super attack with the Dokkan Fest Trunks. I actually found Trunks to, to work quite well in this event particularly. Uh, I did take, I think this was my second attempt of this stage. Uh, that my first attempt, that future Trunks there, he was double super attacking. I think he double supered like every single time I'd seen him and like his defense, you know, 
on a super, I think he got me killed, but for, for normals, he was he was tanking pretty well. So that Trunks, if you can get him link level 10, if you can get multiple dupes in him, he can look very, very good. And he looks even better uh, next to the physical future Gohan because then they, of course, again, synergize quite well. And of course, I have LR Gohan on the team as well. Uh, he was primarily there just for the second phase. I was thinking if we can try and get two to three stacks just before he transforms, he will probably be taking double digits. On a super, maybe he'll take a lot of damage against that second phase, even though he has type advantage. But with the two to three and just, I say with the two to three, but with the two to three defensive stacks prior, uh, he should be good to go. So I did decide uh, it's important to heal, which is why I grabbed all those AGL key spheres with LR Gohan. I didn't prioritize the super attack with Tech Ultimate Gohan, and because I needed a, a super attack for Physical Future Gohan as well, uh, because he does greatly raise attack and defense for one turn. Um, uh, and so, you know, we're pretty much cruising at this point. We're about to go into the second phase. I believe we get the Doka mode off with LR Gohan. I mean, as for like I say, as for other team options, it's literally whatever you guys can build, right? I mean. It's obvious that they, that Dokkan themselves want you, wants you to pull the new LRs. In fact, I think with the newer stages, stages three and four, uh, for the Ultimate Red Zone, the GT version as well as the Movie Bosses version, I probably will be using the brand new LRs. We'll see. Um, but if I can't, I'm going to try not to because I, I want to try and uh, pretend as if I don't have it. Oh, I have it. I want to pretend as if I don't have the. Uh, new LRs because of course they are designed to take down this stage very comfortably with their one turn guard and then you transform like turn four and then their damage gets ludicrous um, so here we decided to pop B pans active oh by the way I just realized the reason why the active skill animations are all turned off uh, is because at this moment again I was still in the process of link leveling uh, the brand new LRs so uh, I, I, you know I, your boy did not want to see the intro animation like every every turn those brand new LRs are uh, hopping into uh, uh, basically every turn um, of the quest mode, right? 710 I think is now the best area, that's why I'm grinding currently. Uh, so I didn't want to see that, which is why we popped um, the active skills. I also popped B Pan's active because I was thinking Tech Ultimate Gohan will go type effective, and that his current defensive level, you know, 400k defense plus, uh, he will be good to go um, in slot one in terms of de dealing out a lot of damage. And Pycon, I believe, let's just double check, I believe he takes like 80k here off this normal, I think. 70k, okay, it was 70k, um, which I suppose is fine. Uh, again, my Pycon is only 55% level 1 links, so that's why it's taking a lot of damage. Your Pycon at Rainbow or level 10 links will probably take less damage. That's why I was also wanting to float B Pan off because she, at this point, even with a 55% damage reduction, is just taking too much damage. So uh, we transform the second take Ultimate Gohan. At this point, I want to try and just collect the same type orbs because I know B Pan won't be doing that much damage. So uh, main source of healing is pretty much made redundant and um, you know she's not there to tank either so we need to try and grab the same type of orbs we're also very close to the doko mode as well so from this point on it's a pretty easy run i would say if you guys ever if you guys are struggling with these events you probably just want to rock hybrid sandy because they're very good defensively right we have like tech ultimate gohan is really good that str um super saiyan trunks the hybrid support unit is pretty good if you can run him alongside a youth gohan you have like the the future Gohan and Trunks, who's a pretty good unit. Um, what else? I believe is that unit on there? The one who got an EZA recently, the Tech. Yeah, the Tech Super Saiyan Three Go Tanks, right? Because he's yeah, because he, he raises attack and defense for six turns, and he gets a whole host of buffs for his passive. So he's a, probably a pretty good option here as well. Um, but I think mainly you just want to try and build the team to to counter the 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 typings, right? So. The second phase is STR, maybe you want to include a few AGL units in here, and then of course the first phase is physical, so maybe you want to include a few STR units. So, thank you guys for watching, I think at this point, we're 9 minutes into the video, I might just speed up the footage, and um, yeah, I do believe at the end of the video, I do, do go over dupe system investment, so feel free to look at that. I think I've got, actually no, I was going to say, I think I've got one more stage to, to go through, but no, this is literally the final stage, and up until we get the new stages, uh, I'm going to try and I think release these over the next few days before we get stage three and stage four. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Catch you next one. Peace.